After a series of crashes of Dhruv advanced light helicopter due to issues with its control rods, the Indian Army and Indian Air Force have decided to temporarily ground the Prachand light combat helicopter as a precautionary measure, as the LCH program borrows several parts from the Dhruv program. The Indian Air Force has received 5 out of 10 limited series LCH and the Army has received one LCH that was ordered in 2022. And now the LCH fleet is also undergoing the same checks and balances like the Dhruv fleet. India has issued a no-time warning over the Bay of Bengal for the period between 7th to 8th June, for a designated range of 1,680 km, which is exactly similar to the no-time issued for 18th May, which indicates that India has postponed the test of Agni Prime to a later date. The nuclear-capable Agni Prime can be equipped with one MAF warhead or two MAF warheads, and features improved propellants navigation and guidance systems, and has an operational range of 2,000 km. Bharat Forge has received approval from the Ministry of Defence for the procurement of 300 ATAGs, and after the opening of commercial bids submitted by Bharat Forge and Tata Defence, the contract for the guns will be signed later this year. Under the agreement, the lowest bidder will get the opportunity to manufacture 60% of the guns, and the second lowest bidder will have to supply the ATAGs at the same price to secure the order for remaining 40% of the guns. The ATAGs has successfully passed all user-assisted trials, and it can hit targets at 48 km. US President Joe Biden has welcomed Prime Minister Modi for an official state visit to the United States next month. And one key development expected to be discussed during the visit is the clearance of General Electric's plans to locally manufacture its F-414 engines in India with transfer of technology. The US administration had made inquiries to General Electric last week, regarding the number of F-414 powered fighter jets that India intends to procure, and how it plans to enforce its intellectual property rights in India where General Electric has claimed complete transfer of technology along with hot engine sections, as over 200 fighter jets will be powered by the F-414 engine, that includes 170 units of Tejas Mark II in the long run, as well as 40 AMCA Mark I fighter jets. Airbus Defence and Space officials visited India to explore potential partnerships for the supply chain of the Airbus A400M Atlas, that is currently manufactured in Seville, Spain, where the 16C295 is also being manufactured for the Indian Air Force. Airbus officials visited Dynamatic Technologies Limited in Bangalore, that specialises in the design and manufacture of complex aerostructures for aircraft. Airbus has offered its A400M Atlas to the Indian Air Force under the 80 medium transport aircraft program, with local manufacturing by the Tata Airbus joint venture. China has delivered the last two Type 54A frigates to Pakistan Navy in Shanghai, thus completing the delivery of four frigates that were ordered in 2017. Pakistan had also signed a $5 billion deal with China in 2016 for the acquisition of eight Yuan-class diesel submarines equipped with their independent propulsion system, and all eight submarines will be delivered by 2028.